Welcome back, everyone. I'm Karen Drew, live in our phone bank. Opioid addiction has become a public health crisis, but you are not alone in dealing with this problem. If you have questions, we have addiction experts here right now. Call the number on your screen, 844-WDIV-HELP. Now, part of solving this problem is keeping the drugs from reaching the streets. The local four defenders gained exclusive access to ride along with the United States Border Patrol recently to see how they keep opioids from getting into the U.S. You guys ready? Yeah. Coming up. You're riding on a U.S. Customs and Border Patrol boat. We're on the Detroit River. This is the international line, the boundary of the United States and Canada. There are no markers in the river. No checkpoints, no gates, just the open water. And that can make patrolling our border challenging, to say the least. So right there is Pesh Isle. Pesh Isle, that is that's all in, in Canadian Canada. waters, yes ma'am. And then just right over there, that's the United States. Yes ma'am. That shows you we're not talking much distance at all. 30 seconds tops. Really? 30 seconds. So unless you are right there, you need to be 30 right seconds, there. they can right get over there. right away, yep. and so can opioids. Yep. The interesting thing about the border up here is you can blend in with any type of boat. It could be a, a regular boat transferring people or drugs, and it looks exactly like a person driving just recreationally. This is a real crisis in the United States. I met up with Ron Vitellio, the acting deputy commissioner of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, when he made a recent stop in Detroit to talk about the opioid epidemic. We're seeing amounts and types and seizures like we haven't before. 600 kilograms of fentanyl seized nationally last year, and smugglers hide it everywhere. Hidden compartments in cars, trains, planes, boats, buses. How is it coming across? A lot of it comes through the post. A lot of it comes through what they call express consignment. Uh, people order off the internet and it shows up at their front door. In a recent find, two and a half pounds of heroin hidden in this tub of chocolate icing. Another recent seizure, heroin found in praying items like candles. It's a difficult task, that's lots of pieces of mail. So we spent a lot of time training them on how to protect themselves. Of course, Border Patrol agents like Mark Hall protect themselves with guns and ammunition. But they also have to protect themselves against opioids, recalling an agent's recent brush with confiscating fentanyl. He got back to the station, he had some powder on his uniform pants, and one of the other officers mentioned it to him, and he simply brushed the powder with his hand, and he overdosed almost instantaneously, and uh, within uh, less than a minute, he was on the ground. It took five doses of Narcan to save that agent. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's bad times. Agent Hall says fall is a particularly busy time for the Border Patrol. That becomes the smuggler's crunch time. Protecting the 800 miles of border here. And so they try to make some of their larger hauls, larger pushes for smuggling towards the end of the year. So it kind of carries them through, so to speak. Before the ice hits. Before the ice hits. Smugglers come in all forms. I've arrested elderly to teenage kids involved in it. So it's uh, just about the time we figure them out, they change up their routines. They say it's a cat and mouse game, tracking down those bringing in opioids into the country. A lot of times we talk border, we think Detroit River, but this is actually of concern for you. Yes, this is this is a real area of concern. I mean, it's a very kind of desolate, uh, obviously not a, a, a popular boat ramp. Tucked away in a Detroit neighborhood, but just minutes away from the international border. It's a, a, a real easy access boat ramp. There's two egresses back out to the Detroit River. Uh, we've seen them pull up, they throw uh, uh, bags of uh, narcotics off. Um, we've made a few uh, significant arrests that way. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol taking the opioid fight serious, whether on water. Delta 12 to the uh, Marine unit. Uh, are you guys underway yet? In the air or on land. Patrols are increasing. They say there isn't a choice. Uh, unfortunately, with the opioids right now, um, uh, if we lose, people die. How true, if they lose, people do die. If you need help right now with this opioid addiction, call the number on your screen right now, 844-WDIV-HELP, 844-934-8435. Back to you in the studio.